<laughs> he said, I want your heart. I want your mind. Come on here. He said, where you allow me to deal with your inner man. Come on here. He said, well, people used to look at you and wonder, what in the world? You ain't the same way how you used to be. He said, that's the person that I need you to be. Not caught up on what it looks like. See, this is a generation and a time we're so caught up on looks. All right. We caught up on how good you look. You look like church. You look like a preacher. How does a preacher look? Come on. You mean to tell me, just because I may stay in the project, just because I catch the bus, then I ain't no preacher? The devil is a lie. That has nothing to do with where I live. Because if you look at some of those disciples' life, a lot of them didn't have money. And we get so religious thinking that we got to look the part. Is something wrong with these things? No. But what I'm saying is we get so caught up onto the our appearance that we're not allowing the Father to change us. He said that the religious and the Pharisees, they got a head knowledge. Come on here. He said, but I want a people that got a heart knowledge. Come on here. He said, you can know every scripture in the world, but if you do not know how to live it, it don't mean nothing. Go tell a homeless person, Jesus loves you and everything that's going to work out. They don't want to hear that. Now you give me a bologna sandwich, you give me a bag of chips, come on here. I need you to feed this hunger that I got. Now you showing me the goodness of your Lord because now you're ministering to my need. Come on here. We so quick to be religious to talk about God, God, I want to give somebody a word. God said, I want you to give somebody me. Come on here. You know somebody who don't have any clothes. We want to talk about what they got on. Take some of them clothes out your out your closet and go give it to them. That's ministry. Come on. They have been ashamed and say how they got their children. Well, I tell you what. You take some time and say, you know what? What about if I take your children to the barber shop and I'm going to give them a haircut? See, that's ministry. He said, we want to talk about, come on, showing the love of the Father. That means you're going to do what the Father say do. Because he, he said, even here, we got to understand when you're a Pharisee, you're a slave to sin. You may say, what? I'm not a slave. Okay, i tell you what. He told me to give you the illustration. He said, we will come to church. We will hear what the preacher say. We will know what to do. But we'll walk out them doors and go back to our old way. You a slave. It's quiet, but it's making us think. You are in bondage. Because the word that we hear is supposed to set us free. So when we hear the word that will set us free, and we go back out them doors and go do the same thing that he told us not to do, and we go do it, you have now confirmed you are a slave to sin. That's good. He said, because even though we'll say, oh, God is good, and we'll say all the cliches, but if you really take inventory over your life, sin is ruling and reigning. And that's why we see a church that don't have any power. Because we're not believing him to do what he said he was going to do. He said, because, see, with the Pharisee, they got self-deception. In other words, we walk around blind. We walk on, we see in all these stories, Jesus don't heal the blind. Come on here. He don't set the captive free. He don't heal people. But what do you see when you look at in our churches? They taking a bunch of medicine. They antidepressants. Come on here. They can't get along with one another. Come on here. They find and fight with one another. We murder one another with our mouths. We speak in witchcraft and our thoughts. Because we don't like what you do. We murder one another. We kill one another. Who's really your father? The devil. He said because if we really be honest with ourselves. And you look at your actions. And we're going to be the real church. You're going to look like your father. People always tell my son, you look just like your dad. People tell him, you look like your dad. So you don't think that in the natural, if a father and a son look like each other, you don't think that we're supposed to look like our father? We're supposed to look like him. 
But the Bible says, how would you know a person? I mean, he, he said, you'll know a tree by the fruit that it bears. So if God is your father, guess what you're going to do? You're going to be bearing some fruit. He said, because when we hear that word, we're going to implement those words. We're going to allow Holy Spirit to change our mind. And then that's what's wrong. A lot of people is going to church and they're not allowing Holy Spirit to change our mind. We're so bamboozled that we sit up here and we'll look at all these scary movies and we'll say it's entertaining. Not knowing every movie with the conjuring and all this, the devil inside. Don't you know that those are real spirits? I used to watch that re uh, uh, witch show that where Angela Bassett was a witch. Uh, what's it called? Selma. Wasn't it Selma? No. Um, I can't think of it. But um, but I was watching it for strategy and prayer. But come to find out, when I looked on the show, do you not know they were showing real witch? It's real witchcraft. They're doing it in uh, Louisiana. And they actually go into the real places. So when they show the people on TV, it's the real deal. But you got people in church, oh, that's your entertainment. You got people understanding that the enemy is crafted that he know how to lure us in, but we don't know that we're being lured in. We'll put on the perfume with Jennifer uh, uh, Lopez called Goddess. Ooh, that stuff smells so good. Not understanding she had witches to bless it. So the American Horror Story. So you got to understand, when you put on the perfume, guess what you're receiving? You're receiving the blessings of what they have spoken on that perfume. You have become a partaker of it. Come on here. we got to understand that when we put on a lot of these clothes, a lot of these things, if you're not led to what you are buying, you don't understand, you're allowing the, the, your father to drive you away. A lot of young people do the music. You got to understand, when you see a lot